Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. This is part 2 of the uh, Inventory Drag and Drop series-ish. No, there's only two videos long. Uh, if you haven't seen the first two, so it's Heartbeast's um, initial wit, and then my um, part 1 of this, uh, I'll leave some links here for you. Um, we're just going to... Um, yeah, so but bleh, can't find the words to do. Um, so basically, this is what we made last time, if you remember. Um, you know, we could drag it around, but the items aren't really working, um, as you can see. And if we drag it on here, yeah, it doesn't work. So to sort this out uh, really quick, um, wait one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my cat just decided to go out. <laughs> um, anyway, what I was saying is, uh, to sort this out, we can simply just go in and uh, change the scripts around. So we've got our scripts, and basically we're just going to adapt these, and I'll explain it as we go along. So um, remove items, the first one we're going to fiddle with, because this is when you actually pick up the item, so you don't want it to properly disappear. So, um, here, I believe, we're going to keep track of the item that we are removing. And to do this, we're just going to have a global variable. It's going to be global dot last item. And it's going to equal object inventory dot box so the box that we're actually removing at the minute x x y y and that's all that's just going to keep track of it so that at the end we can add it back in the right item so here I believe I oh, know wait wait one more thing we need to keep track of the box that we're removing it from uh, so keep track of the box that we are removing spell removing from and uh, to do this we're just going to have an x and a y it's just going to be two global global box x equals x x global dot box oops y is going to be equal y y and basically that will keep track of the box so we can return the item to the right box and the right item as well. So underneath the return item removed bit, I believe, uh, yep, yeah, we are just going to put object inventory dot draw equals true. So this will draw the item um, as it's moving along. Now in the else if uh, bit, we need to add in a little bit underneath here, and this is just going to return the item um, back. So wait, else if item count equals zero. Um, hmm. Do I? Um, I'm going to leave that for now. We might go back and have a fiddle with that, but I think for the time being that's fine. Yeah. So we'll leave that for the time being. Um, now let's go into the add item script. And there's quite a few changes here. So down in the, in the else if box, we are going to add some bits in here in the else the, other, the second else so object inventory dot box Oops. global dot box x global dot box y equals global dot last item and what this is going to do is if there's already an item in the place we're going to put it up. We're going to 
return that item that, that we're holding at the minute back to the previous spot which is what this is doing and underneath this we're going to obviously add one to the count as well otherwise it would be new count Glue rock box I guess you could copy and paste this but I've already oh boy <laughs> um, and plus plus so that's all there is in that bit but now I believe we need another else um, statement we we just check uh, um, also around here we're going to do another if statement object In, oh I'm actually going to do just get rid of this I'm just going to copy all this because we're going to use this quite a lot of times so basically if the box we are on is less than 9 in it then it's just going to add to the item and this will make stacks as well so then we've got the else then we've got that else uh, and that's, oh, oh I know what I've done I think Um, what we can do uh, is, yeah, we need to copy this, basically, and just put that there. So this is, if that slot's full, let's change this to that slot is oops, full. And then, yeah, the rest is just the same. That needs to be tabbed a long one. And then you've got this else, and then under here we've got a bit more to do still so let's change this to message so message and then let's just copy this yeah and that's just going to return the item again so this is just us uh, this is just our code to basically return the correct item in the correct space that's it for the add item. Next, we've got the pickup item. And this is going to be our last script that we're going to edit. So, before this bit in both of them, what we need to do is uh, reset. Oh, wait. If. Hmm. We don't need this. Technically, we don't need it at all. So, let's just uh, run this now. And give it a go. What I've done there is just um, add an extra variable to see whether it's um, you should destroy the item when you walk over it. But it's very simple. You just say if destroy, which would be the variable with other instant destroy. So now this should work. Let's let's give it a go. Yeah, you can see it's working. Let's try and put it there. No, it returns it. Says the error message. What if we put it on there? Yep, it stacks back up again. Perfect. So you can see it's all very nice and working. You can see the visual um, item as you're dragging it around. And uh, yeah, it's working very nicely actually. So that is it for the drag and drop tutorial. If you want another extension to this tutorial, I don't know, like um, adding something else into the game, to our uh, inventory even, then uh, feel free to ask. And yeah if you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial remember to like subscribe or just do whatever you guys want to do oh, wait let's just first before we go let's just check it stacks up okay so it doesn't it doesn't stack up for some reason let's go and just check that quickly before I don't want to leave so if the count is, if the box is smaller then nine else. Okay. Uh, what is the XX variable? Variable. Where were I doing it? Okay. Um, so this should work, I believe. Um, I'm not gonna stretch it over too much because it's not actually part of the tutorial. It's dragging and dropping. It's the main thing. Actually, I believe it will be in the pickup. Uh, yeah, we will we'll be in the pickup. Um, so let's just add that in really quickly as well. If 
So this is just checking for the count. And oh, oops. Uh, x x y y is smaller than nine, and that should work now. So basically, it's just in the pickup as well. And let's just run that really quickly, and then it, I'll be off. I'll be on my way. Um. So yeah, if you do have any more suggestions for what I could do with this, um, so maybe equipping stuff, we could have a go at that. Um, I know, like, putting it into an RPG game, we could go back and put it into the RPG game that we did. Uh, no, it is. It's still not working. I don't know why. But seeing as that isn't actually part of the tutorial, wait, let's just... Uh, yeah, seeing as that isn't actually part of the tutorial, I'm not going to stress over it. So it's drag and drop, stacking doesn't work for some reason, but if you want a dedicated stacking tutorial, I'll be happy to do it. So if you enjoyed this, bleh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, remember to like, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys want to do, and I will talk to you later.